Hey guys, it's Zach from the ConCon channel and in this video I'm going to show you how to install the Dragon Survival mod so that you can play as a dragon, complete quests and grow to your full adult size in Minecraft. Now in order to get this mod pack you'll need to download the CurseForge app which I'll link down in the description below which will take you to this website page. Once you're here, you're going to download the standalone version of Curse Forge. Now I've downloaded it to my desktop. So once you've downloaded it, you can then launch it. And then it's going to take you to this page where you'll just need to say next, choose your installation folder, and then you need to accept the terms and then it will start downloading. Now, once you get to this page, you're going to see all the games available. Now you're going to have to click on Minecraft and it's going to be grayed out. Mine isn't grayed out because I've already downloaded the app before, but if you're new to CurseForge, you're going to click on the app and then it's going to ask you to set up the modding folder for Minecraft. Now, all you'll need to do is just say the standard recommended Minecraft modding folder. Once you're in your Minecraft mod folder, you're going to go to the search bar and type in Dragon Survival. Once you're here, you're going to scroll all the way down until you find this Dragon Survival mod right over here by Black or his art. And as you can see, it has 1.4 million downloads. You're going to click install. You're then going to create a new profile and you're going to call this dragon survival or whatever you want to call it and then create. It is then going to install the mod pack with all its dedicated mods. Once your dragon survival mod is downloaded, you want to go to add content and then you're going to type in gecko and we need to download gecko lib. You're also then going to type in sodium and download the sodium mod and then you're going to type in iris and download the iris shaders the reason for these other mods being downloaded is so that you can actually use shaders on this mod pack as well as other mods in this mod pack so that they can work and are stable so now we can go ahead and install these shaders the complementary shaders reimagined and complementary shaders unbound once that's done and all of it is installed you can then say play on the dragon survival profile you created and then it's going to launch your minecraft launcher and then you'll see that you'll have your dragon survival neoforge version and then you can click play i understand the risk and then play again you're then going to get this message just saying that the servers that you play on for multiplayer are not supervised or controlled by mojang or microsoft but you can just say proceed do not show again proceed and then obviously if you don't want to play multiplayer you can just go back and click single player and then you can go ahead and create a world now once you create a world you will then be able to choose a dragon that you want to play as you get this fire looking dragon then this green one this lightning one or you can just play as like a human so we are going to go with this one and then you can actually customize the dragon to exactly how you want it to look. So you can change the body type, the type of plating underneath its belly and all sorts of things. It's pretty cool. You can even add extra horns if you wanted to, to make your dragon look unique. And then once you've decided on your dragon, you'll start off as a newborn. Now, once you've created and selected your dragon in game, the first thing that I recommend you do is go to your options, go to your controls and go to keybinds as a lot of these keys are going to be confusing to understand and some of them are not bound. So you might be clicking buttons and nothing's happening and that could be because it's not bound. So you just want to go ahead and look at all your key binds as it may be different to mine. And once you've understood what your keys are and what you can do, you can then go to your video settings and then you can go to shaders and now you can actually add those shaders that we downloaded in our mod pack. Once you've chosen the one, you can then apply and as you'll see when we go back, it is going to look absolutely amazing with the mods that we've installed. Now, another thing that you'll need to just do and enable is go to your options, go to resource packs, then add your draconized armor and then your dark GUI. Once you're done with that, you're all ready and set to go out and play the game. And essentially the way it works is you're just a dragon, obviously in a survival world, and you'll need to eat and kill enemies and animals in order to grow and get bigger and you can also look at the advancements in the options menu and this is essentially like quests that you can do as you can see if we look at the first one here be villagers we can find a villager and decide their fate obviously meaning to kill them or not so as you'll see there's a few quests that you can do and the more you play the more you'll learn it's a pretty cool mod i can't lie and it does look quite amazing with all the mods installed you also get an emote menu where you can actually like do different emotes. So you'll see I get this hug old, I can buy. This is kind of like blending stuff. And then you can do hugs, holding items, magic. It's pretty cool, I can't lie. It's been Zach from the ConCon channel. I hope you guys enjoy the video and thanks for watching.